Hey, it's Mr. Peace. I'm here at Wixom Elementary School in Wixom, Michigan, home of the Wolves and part of the Wald Lake Consolidated School District. Uh, such an honor to be back here. It was a couple of years back that I got to visit them uh, pre-pandemic, but now, you know, got to start and kick off their Kindness Unites Us initiative or theme here at their school, right? And so their basic focus for this whole school year is to really understand that, you know, we can show kindness not only to ourselves, but to others. And so there's billboards like this all around the school uh, that you'll see that says the kindness unites us. And the theme today was on diversity and the need for human kindness. So this tied in perfectly to what they're really trying to uh, how it really kind of just t take to heart for this school year, right? That we take this kindness up a level. And it's this one I really like in particular because it has hearts that are on hands. And we always talk about in all my assemblies, uh, the lines on our hands, uh, that we all have letter M with the lines on our hands. Sometimes a faint line connects it, but I have at least one in each hand. I trace one of mine here. And that M stands for miracle, right? Like the front of my shirt, upside down W for Wixom Wolves. No, just kidding, for <laughs> worthy, I guess for that too. And, you know, to know that the students are able to see that and believe that, uh, that's so important, right? Because we know that family uh, isn't just blood, but it's people that love us and support us and lift us up higher than themselves. That we rise by lifting others, right? And to really get that, grasp that at a young age uh, is just amazing. You know, it gives me hope, uh, really inspires me to keep, you know, picking up this torch for change and knowing that we have this uh, unlimited power to show unconditional love, love without any conditions, right? Though someone's taller than us, shorter, wider, skinnier, different skin color, wears glasses or not, is, is, is disabled or not, we can still always choose this love, choose empathy, compassion, acceptance, inclusion, and just keep building on that. So through a series of heartfelt stories, some motivational videos, some inspiring music, that's how I got the message across today. And uh, again, you know, two di different assemblies, all the grades, uh, JK, through five um, that again, just a lot of them said, Mr. Peace, you touched my heart. And I said, well, that's, that's beautiful. If I did touch your heart, that means you have a big heart. So now it's up to you go share that gift by how you choose to treat yourself and others going forward. And so I'll be back again in May to talk about positivity being our best self. But until then, you know, to really look at how each of us can, you know, be that light to someone else's heart. That's what my hope was today. And I believe that we did accomplish that. So thank you all for touching my heart. You're all beautiful. I will see you again uh, in 2024. But until then, though, and as always, make sure to hit the subscribe button to see pop up on the screen. You can also check out this playlist below for some additional motivation. And feel free to visit my website by clicking on the peace sign symbol on your phone, tablet, wherever you're watching this video to track my journey across this country as I continue to heal America's heart one school at a time. Peace.